All right. Bye. It was nice hanging out with you guys. Oh. Oh, you, you, you want to come in to see our weird apartment? Uh, okay. But don't say I didn't warn you. first thing that anyone sees when they first come in the door to the apartment. That would be the Harry Potter treasure trove that I have. So, on the top shelf, sorting hat, death ear mask, trousers. First shelf, Ravenclaw. Got a bunch of cool things on there. Next shelf, Gryffindor. Ron, Hermione, and Harry are on the little figures in the bottom there. Middle shelf, the books. Next shelf down, Hufflepuff. And the last shelf all the way down, Slytherin. And this corner is also where I keep my loom and my loom supplies. I got a basket full of cool yarn that I'll be working with soon. And you can see the expanse of our living room. So, right when you walk in, you've got our shoe rack, key rack, Ravenclaw banner. This is our little key deposit chain full area we've got our trick-or-treat candy and bag ready to go for trick-or-treaters to come super excited about that we've got our entertainment center where our fluent pet is set up to go if i pan to this way we have our media center all decorated for halloween with all of our spooky family favorites Got myself and Kristoff in last year's Halloween costume there. I zombified us a couple times over here for some really cool effects. And I also zombified Angel and Sybil right over here. <laughs> Boo. Our little love seat with its Halloween pillows and blankets all set up, ready to go. Our haunted Halloween village is amazing. I'm so glad we did this this year. I'll do an in-depth walkthrough here so you guys can get a real idea of what we got going on up there.
tree. And then we have my haunted plant corner. You wanna talk about weird? Can we talk about how weird this plant collection is? Hmm. Venus fly trap. Oh, look how pretty she is though. Some aloe ivy in a skull planter. My waffle fern and some succulents. Complete with frogs, monsters, spiders. Who doesn't love a little creepy weird in their house? If I spin the camera around, you'll see our lovely seating area, which you've seen in other videos. Um, but this is what it looks like all done up, all clean, like the whole thing. Uh, our coffee table with my spooky candles. And now we have our haunted bookshelf. Now I can got that all set up for Halloween. I've got my wand collection up above and a beautiful picture of Luna. And then the top, I've got my pumpkin frog right stand and center. There's the catacomb luminary we just made in a recent video. Our book collections. Normally our bookshelf isn't adorned with so many like holiday accoutrements, but it's fun to put out all the stuff for Halloween and really showcase the spooky nature of the things that we own. This is Bruce the Bat. He is a constant. He's out all year. In this corner, you'll see our planning center and our wine rack where I store all the wines that I've made. Got a little, hi Angel. <laughs> Got a little uh, notepad section here, a little crystal ball. But yeah, this is how we keep track of time everything. We hung that driving light right above it to give a nice little ambience. This corner is not too exciting. It's just laundry room and maintenance closet. So it's got the furnace and that kind of stuff in there. So that's really rather boring. So I'm not gonna show you those. If we turn the corner around here though, it's one of the weirdest spaces in our apartment, in the lab. So let's take a journey inside, shall we? We've got glowing purple ambiance, first off. <laughs> Let's uh, turn on some lights so you can see some details. Right off the bat, we've got unicorn skull on the back of the toilet. <laughs> Makeup is housed here in this spooky ensemble. I've got my yoga skills to remind me to always have peace of mind. We have a unicorn parrot at the top, which I made. Super proud of that guy. We've got another unicorn here. Little unicorn there on the cotton ball holder. Another one there at the q tip holder. Another one here on the face pad holder. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> My perfume collection. Okay, can you get down? 
another unicorn there on the cotton swab holder. My perfume collection. Soaps, my, with, complete with light up hot pink soap dispenser. Iridescent vase for a black and rainbow bouquet. Cause that's not weird. Another yoga skeleton. Some more body sprays. Another undead unicorn. My bat sunglasses. A haunted portrait that I also made. One of my favorite paintings that I painted. Oh, and let's not forget some of the hexy witch spooky towel. <laughs> and some of the things in here even glow in the dark. This is our dining room area. Our bar area is behind there. You've seen me painting here before. Our patio is right out there. <laughs> Some of my fish over here. These are the shrimp, actually. My shrimp tanks. I love my shrimps. <laughs> Can we talk about weird shrimp tank? <laughs> oh, and don't forget the hanging witch balls overhead to keep bad witch energy out and good witch energy in. But yeah, I mean, it's a pretty big apartment. Uh, this is usually where we film from, into the kitchen. It's the best workspace in the area, in the apartment. We use it quite often. Got some, some cool Halloween decor over here, my Wicked Raven pumpkin plaque and some cake plates. Don't want the spikes I actually made. Let's talk about the weird stuff on my fridge. Yep. What most people really want to see, though, when they talk about my kitchen is my dishware. So, everyday dishware that we use is just basic, black, boring plates and bowls that we got from the Dollar Tree. No big deal there. But, if I open up the other side, I have lots of spooky bowls and ramekins and little dessert plates and I've got like a cauldron up top, um, my pie plates and my special Halloween plates are up there. So yeah, I do have a, quite a bit of spooky dishes in this cupboard. Up in this one. where I keep all my wine glasses, <laughs> a couple other things, Ooh. a couple dragon goblets, some shot glasses, margarita glasses, nothing too fancy up in there, blender bottle because you got to be healthy. And this cupboard which is kind of awkward for me to get into, but I still don't mind it. Our coffee cups and our glassware and mugs, things of that nature. Yeah, that's what our cupboards look like. I know everybody's always interested in what we drink and eat out of. And the final section that I'm gonna show you in our apartment is our hallway. It's nicely decorated. Through this door is our linen closet, towel closet. This one is the art room. It's always messy because they have a million projects going at all times. Some beautiful artwork. And we put up those Halloween decorations in here that we got this year. 
Uh, these two were from Joanne's. This one's from Spirit. This one we got at Spirit last year. And then behind me <laughs> is this gorgeous antique shelf, which I refinished, repainted, resculpted some of the broken parts. It houses my nail polish collection from when I used to be a nail tech. And I have some spooky dolls up top with some coffin shapes. And this is the bedroom, which is still under construction, so I am not going to show you guys that. You'll have to wait for a future video when I get that finished before I add that. Alright. Come back up, give you guys a full hallway view. And thank you for coming into our apartment and visiting with us today. And I'm going to leave you with some B-roll. Cause all I received is no being alone But you never leave me Cause I've been deceived I never felt so lost Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode of all the fun going on here in the lab. Okay.